Good afternoon. I'm Amy Caulfield. We're joining you live from Broken Arrow at the 11th, 11th annual United Way Day of Caring. Joining us now from Broken Arrow Neighbors is the, you're actually the board president, is that correct? The yes. board president of Broken Arrow Neighbors, which is a basic needs service organization here in Broken Arrow. Why is it so important that you guys take part in this each year? Well, you know, of course, this year is extra special because of the special day for our country. And what a great day for Broken Arrow Neighbors to have so many people from so many organizations out here giving their time and talent in really a, a special way to help us make improvements to our facilities here and get us through this upcoming year. And you guys really rely on these volunteers to kind of help with a lot of spruce up projects. Without a doubt. The uh, volunteers are really the backbone of Broken Arrow Neighbors. That's what makes us such a unique organization and lets us give so much back to the community. All right, Pat Donica, thank you so much. We're going to be live out here in Broken Arrow the rest of the day, so stay with us. As part of the Garvey family, I wish to express our support for not only our great and caring community, but our nation as well. We stand proud to be part of America and are confident that our community and nation will continue to be strong during this sensitive time. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for the men and women defending our country and give thanks and praise to the heroes that gave their lives in this tragedy. We continue to offer our thoughts and prayers to not only those affected on September 11th, but also to our Oklahoma families affected in the Murrah Federal Building tragedy. Good afternoon. I'm Amy Caulfield. We are live in Broken Arrow at the 11th annual United Way Day of Caring. We're at Broken Arrow Neighbors. It's a basic needs organization. We've got a large group of NORDAM employees who are out here volunteering, doing a lot of spruce up work, having a good time while they're doing it, too. Joining us is Randy Owens. Randy is a volunteer, and you also work at NORDAM. Tell me, what has it been like out here this morning? It's really been fun. We've done a lot of work. Uh, we've had a good time uh, just helping other people. It obviously makes you guys feel really good to be out here. You wouldn't be volunteering. Why did you decide you wanted to volunteer for this? Uh, just for that reason. It, it does make you feel good and to help people that uh, need help. Uh, it's just a good thing. When you found out that they were going to be doing this on the anniversary of 9-11, how did this kind of the Day of Caring fit into what 9-11 is all about? Well, 9-11 was a big event in everybody's life. And uh, to have it on 9-11, it just really, uh, it all fit together real nice. All right, Randy, thank you so much. That is our time for now. We're going to be back with you in about a half an hour, live in Broken Arrow. I'm Amy Caulfield. I'm Michael Cronley, the general manager here at Channel 2. Today, most of our programming is devoted to looking back at last year's terrible events. You won't see any paid commercials until we resume normal programming at 10 o'clock tonight. The announcements you're seeing instead are messages from our friends in the community and here at the TV station. I'd like to thank you for watching Channel 2 and for joining us today as we honor the heroes and remember the victims of the terrorist attacks one year ago.